Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to convert a 264 or an H264 video file to a normal playable MP4 file. So I have found actually, I mean the thing is actually where do you get these files? Mo uh, usually you get such files from IP web cameras if you download a file or yeah other rare occasions then when you want to watch it or play it, play it send it to somebody upload to uh, google photos then it doesn't work with the 264 or h264 so i have found an instructions how to do that first part is how to play it second part is how to convert it using vlc which is uh, free the conversion needs also the handbrake here it comes down i think yeah part number seven so i have been trying this it's quite complicated i mean not super complicated but i've tried it you even have to install handbrake uh, which i never used apart from that installation looks like good and free and everything so i tried this but at the end i was not able to produce a playable file i mean at the end i had a file but the file had a zero file size and it was of course not playable and when you go through the comments here a lot of people say it doesn't work for them so i don't know why it doesn't work maybe i have or some of us just have problems with the original files file maybe it doesn't uh hasn't been encoded properly i don't know maybe but uh there are more simple versions i would say the problem is i don't have a valid or at least i think i don't have a valid uh h264 file so i can just tell you what i would do if you think you have a valid uh, such file uh, I'm, I'm showing you now what you can do so uh, there are two really easy solutions and i would highly recommend to do that and yeah let's see how this plays out so first uh, first thing is here we have the file or the files it's a whole bunch of these h264 files and as you can see the file size is legit yeah uh, three megabytes or something like that so i cannot just use it to convert because when i use the context menu it doesn't show me anything on the windows explorer so i have to rename that with f2 to uh, dot a v i so telling the windows that it is a video file and then i can convert it using the file converter to an mp4 and here you can see that it doesn't take too long it says successful and here we have the mp4 but as you can see the file size is super small which i mean could be doesn't sound very legit but when i play that it is uh, just trash i mean it's playing it but it is more or less just trash and i think there was something wrong with the original video file already the thing is how can you do that how can you convert avi to mp4 just using the explorer uh, as you have seen that i had this file converter installed it's a free it's an awesome uh tool uh yeah it's absolutely no problem i have this since long time never had any problem with viruses or something like that and it looks really free and legit and i can highly recommend to install that and then you have all the options to convert almost anything to anything so i'll put down the link to this file converter instruction video into the description it's another video from my channel where uh, where you can see how to use that 
exactly how to install and so on so that's the first thing uh, really an easy thing and the second one is also easy but it is not without risk it is the website file zigzag.com I'll put down also this link into the description um, then you can I mean here we, have, we are already on the H264 to mp4 uh, conversion site of course they have a lot of other conversions here the really crazy thing is that this looks like it's really sophisticated so it, it is not just a dirt cheap page it is a really high-end page and so I can take just like a file go here and drop it usually it works I have to put this on the right side so let's go again so I can really just put this here and it is uh, just analyzing it shortly and then we can tell uh, to what we want to um, like convert we select mp4 we enter the email address and then we say convert and then uh, you can either download or upload it to a, a cloud service like Dropbox or uh, Google Drive so what I would recommend you something which is not um, where you don't have really sensitive data I have my Dropbox which I am just using to share some non-sensitive files and yeah uh, after short term short time after clicking convert it asked me to log in to Dropbox I mean when I se selected uh, convert to Dropbox gave me the opportunity to log in and then it was stored there and I went back to um, Dropbox logged in and the file was there but unfortunately it was uh, I mean it, it was playable exactly same thing as the one here on the file but it was just showing nonsense I mean exactly exactly same thing as here just uh, nothing really uh, yeah with uh, real content so this must be an error I think in the source file but apart from that it looks like this is really working there's no limitation as far as I've seen it is free it works fast and reliable I just have no clue where they get the money from to run this site there was no um, no ads no nothing it's even hard to find out who they are I mean they run a Facebook site they run a Twitter site they run uh, many things but they have almost no followers no nothing you can check this out there's almost nothing about that you can click on contact and you get only uh, yeah this support thing and you can send anything but nothing about the company absolutely nothing so I don't know how um, really reliable or how safe this is so I was just running this site here file6zack.com in a uh, sandbox like with the sandbox I was running it in, in the sandbox so with the sandbox of course you can upload something you just cannot download it or you have to give permission so I you can easily drag it here from here you can upload it to uh, Dropbox after converting here and then you can download it uh, I mean you can run it and probably the Dropbox will run uh, like it, it will check every file for viruses I guess but at least you can see it's a normal mp4 file and probably mp4s I don't know if they can contain viruses I've never heard about that but you can really see I have been able to click on that on Dropbox run the video see there is nothing weird nothing strange so you can also then after that go to your normal browser and then download it from there 
so that's it for now it would be really interesting uh, from you to learn if you have been able to use uh, the yeah I mean the either one solution I mean for me probably the original file is corrupted I think if you have a legit file it would be interesting to learn from you if this solution or either one solution works for you just leave a feedback in the comment area I mean it would be really interesting to learn from you if that worked and so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time